So if you would. <clears throat> Excellent. Yep. Thank you for inviting me to, 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 to give a short presentation. Um, so yes, I'm, I'm going to talk about the quantum technologies masters at the University of, of Sussex. My name is Winfried Hensinger. I'm a professor of quantum technologies. Um, let me start by introducing some of the important people and maybe most importantly, our center administrator, Emily Crozier. Um, we have a Dean of the Sussex Center for Quantum Technologies, a Doctoral Industry Training Academy, that's uh, Marco Bicchianti, uh, uh, the Deputy Director of the Center is Jacob Dunningham, and, and, and I'm the Director of, of, of the Center. So let me start with some key facts. So we, um, we have uh, seven world-leading groups. We've actually just added one, so I should have said eight world-leading groups with, with uh, more than 100 researchers. Uh, focused on the exploitation of disruptive quantum technologies. So technologies we develop at Sussex um, are quantum computers, quantum uh, sensors, quantum sim uh, simulators, quantum clocks, quantum imaging, quantum networks, and all the relevant subsystems. And, and at Sussex, we have a very strong focus on application development rather than just the technology. So we have a Sussex program for quantum research and there we're really trying to link to all the applications such as in the financial sector the life sciences medical technologies and material sciences well so we we really interlink with with many other entities on campus and we're part um, of the national quantum technology program and in particular two quantum technology hubs here here in, in the uk so we're also part of the european quantum flagship We've uh, filed numerous patents and IP disclosures. We are funded by industry and have joined projects with industry. Um, there's numerous state-of-the-art laboratories. Uh, we have an impressive, I think, grant portfolio. Um, and maybe something to mention as well is that the university has really declared this is a key priority area and made heavy investments in, into quantum technologies. So, so. Um, let me start with some highlights just to tell you about why you might want to come to Sussex and why we believe we are special. So, so, so there's, it's uh, one of the few places uh, which uh, offers the development of quantum clocks, but also microcombs, uh, which allows us then to create portable atomic clocks. Um, we have probably one of the largest number of ion trapping experiments in the UK. We have the first cryogenic ion trapping set up in the in the UK, the only cavity QED set up in the, in the UK and the first to produce strong coupling. Uh, in fact, we have one of the largest centers for ion trapping in, in the world. And uh, in terms of quantum computing, we made, made some uh, very significant breakthroughs. Uh, we invented a new approach to quantum computing that relies on microwave technology where you can apply where you can execute quantum gates by simply applying a voltage to a microchip and in fact we've created the first blueprint of how you would go about building a million or even billion qubit quantum computer uh, leading an international consortium of, of, of universities. So, so we've done um, impressive in, uh, achievements also in, in quantum measurements. So Jacob Dunningham is one of the world leading theorists and, and uh, working on uh, entanglement, um, uh, entangled networks of quantum sensors and, and really made some big progress in the uh, uh, advancement of measurement theory. Um, I should really mention the work of on quantum networks in Sussex, which is very unique and in, in, across the world. So Matthias Skeller, in fact, was the first to realize strong coupling uh, between an uh, ion and a photon. So this is a really, really unbelievably hard experiment, and, and Matthias made this happen. And, uh, and I should also mention uh, the work of uh, Barry Garraway, uh, who proposed an experiment uh, which has now recently been taken up to the International Space Station. And, and, and so um, this aims to make a bubble of meta waves for research purposes. And, and uh, I should also mention that a number of groups around the world have uh, used some of Barry Garraway's techniques in, in, their, in, their, in their experiments. 
So in the center, we are the Doctoral Industry and Training Academy. As part of that, we are the MSc in Quantum Technologies. We also offer industry short courses. We offer uh, uh, courses in entrepreneurship, uh, specialized training for the quantum technology industry and undergraduate training and, and quantum technology engineering skills. Now let's focus on the quantum technology masters. So that is very much um, a, a research driven master's degree. So the, the major uh, project in one of our research groups uh, forms a focus of this, this project. We, we also want to train uh, our students entrepreneurship and other transferable skills. So that is a very important component. And uh, there's, <clears throat> uh, we very much think about authentic quantum technology engineering skills, what does it mean to actually build practical technologies? And, and finally, I should mention that we have a number of collaborative projects available with industry. So why would you want to take uh, this master's degree? Uh, one reason you might want to go to for doctoral studies or have a theory or experiment. Uh, you may uh, want to work in a high te uh, technology company exploiting some cutting edge uh, quantum technologies or you might want to go in business data analysis, research, computer program, software development, or teaching. So this the, the degree is really uh, quite broad. And in, in when you take and choose modules, you can somewhat um, uh, focus a little bit on one of these directions. Um, this is a list um, of some of the, the, the modules we offer, so practical quantum technologies, atom light interactions. Um, uh, quantum optics and quantum information. We are one of the largest center of cold atom physics here in the UK. And so the, our teaching program has a lot of um, that involved, but we also work on nanotechnology and nanomaterials and things like that and more general skills. Let me tell you a little bit about the research directions at, at Sussex. So, so let's start with uh, quantum computing. Um, so so um, we have a research group, uh, this is my research group, uh, working on developing practical quantum computers using trapped ions. We were the first to, to publish a blueprint of, of uh, how we could build a practical device and that has delivered a, a lot of media attention. Uh, Matthias Keller works on quantum networks, so the quantum internet really, and he's managed to actually recently managed to um, turn uh, 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 transfer a photon uh, up to telecom wavelength and then transfer it uh, via very long optical fiber. So that's a really impressive achievement. And we've just recently recruited a, a theory group, uh, Neil de Vaudrap, who works on the underlying theory behind quantum computing. Uh, we also work on quantum simulation, and that's that's my group, and in particular, we work with digital and analog quantum simulation using trapped ions. So we've made one of the very first two-dimensional ion trap arrays for, for that purpose on a chip, and we are now particularly interested in digital quantum simulation using some of the quantum computing architectures we've developed in, in my group at Sussex. Uh, Alessia Pasquazzi and Matthias Keller work together of developing port portable atomic clocks. So Matthias Keller is, is an ex world leading expert on, on developing optical quantum clocks. Now, in order to use an optical quantum clock, you need a microcom in order to translate the frequency standard, the frequency reference from, from the optical to, to the microwave where it's, that's being used. And that's work by Alessia Pascasi, who then develops these microcoms and together they're building practical clock devices. Um, we also have a very, very strong program on quantum imaging, and, and that's led by Peter Kruger and Fedor Orovitrovich. And uh, some of the things they work on is, is using cold atoms for surface studies and brain imaging. So they use um, quantum technologies for brain imaging, but also to, to think about uh, surfaces, even mobile phone transparent screens and things like this. I should also mention the work of Marco Picchianti, who uses uh, terahertz imaging uh, radiation for, for, for quantum imaging. So you can imagine imaging explosives and for biological compo compo composites, and, and you can see an image of, of, of being uh, made by, by using Marco's uh, work. Um, as a next step, I, I should maybe uh, mention the work at of quantum sensing at Sussex. And we actually have a very, very large quantum sensing 
program uh, Jose Verdugo uses electrons for for um, um, quantum microwave sensing, so so you can sense single microwave photons. So that is really really interesting and really hard. And he's developed a a new type of microchip where he can uh, hold individual electrons. Um, Jacob Dunningham, as I, as I mentioned before, is uh, is is a fantastic specialist, a theorist who develops the theory of quantum measurement, in particular the theory of of entangled uh, sensor networks. Um, <clears throat> Barry Garraway has has developed a really seminal technique to to trap with the Einstein condensate. It's one of his ideas, as, as I said, is on the International Space Station. And, and my group, so that's uh, uh, Sebastian Weitz, who's a senior scientist in my group and myself, we work on um, <clears throat> RF and microwave sensing using trapped ions. And so you can see here a portable quantum sensor we are developing in, in, in my group. So <clears throat> um, research is very important, but it's also very important to, to, to develop, uh, produce change. And, and, and so Sussex has been in the news many times of uh, been, been lucky to, to, to testifying in, in German parliament, in UK select committee. Uh, we have a number of spin out companies and, and let's start with advanced material developments and really work on touch screens and, and, and really more material science. And then there's universal quantum. Um, in fact, I'm uh, chairman and, and chief scientist in universal quantum. And, and there we work on building practical quantum computers based on the work on in the research groups. We have now made this next step and now we're building a full stack quantum computing company uh, where we focus on using microwave technology to build uh, practical trapped iron quantum computers. So traditionally trapped iron quantum computers require pairs of laser beams to execute quantum gates. So imagine if you have 50, 50 uh, ions or 50 qubits and you need 50 pairs of laser beams. And that's not so hard to achieve um, uh, with reasonable engineering difficulty. But imagine you need a million or billion qubits and that's what you need for practical quantum computers. It would be very hard needing to have all these pairs of laser beams. So we developed the whole new technology which is based on microwave technology, the same which is in mobile phones where we can now execute quantum gates simply by the uh, uh, application of a voltage to a microchip. And as part of universal quantum, we develop fully electronic microchip quantum computing modules, uh, which then uh, can, can be added together to, to then produce a really large scale quantum computer that could then really host uh, eventually millions of, of qubits and, and universal quantum and the University of Sussex have a very close relationship. So there's, there's plenty of uh, opportunity to work closely together. So obviously this is a very short presentation and, and um, I haven't really been able to tell you all about this. So if you'd like more information, um, there's a nice brochure you can, you can actually get on the internet. So you, you just need to go on this website um, so here, just sussexac.uk.sqt, that's a website of the Sussex Center for Quantum Technologies. And there's a lovely brochure you can download, which gives you a lot more detailed information on, of some of the work um, which goes on at Sussex. Um, there's a second website here, which uh, tells you a lot about the master's degree, um, all the entry requirements, details, details of all the modules, the application data deadlines and, 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 and all the very details and the scholarship schemes available and so on. So, so please have a look there and, and you'll, you'll probably find a lot of relevant information. Now, um, let me maybe um, end this with a short film. This is a very uncomfortable part for me because I'm in this film and I hate seeing myself, but, but I've been told it's useful to, to, instead of having me maybe speaking about this, having students <clears throat> also uh, speaking and also maybe you can see a little bit about the facilities we have. So I'm gonna, um, hopefully if, if this works with Zoom, maybe we can, uh, I'm gonna try it now to, to, to play, play a short film. 
Hey, Winfrey. You need to, you need to, uh, when you share the screen, uh, so can you stop this to get the sound to come out? Yes. Uh, when you do the share screen, uh, you select what screen you want. On the bottom left-hand corner, there's a checkbox for sound. So go oh, ahead, a, unshare. Oh, there's, a, there's a sound button here that's turned off and on. Uh, okay, uh, where is this in the share? Okay. So un unshare. All right, let me see. Okay, so you're sharing. So do you want me to unshare? Unshare, yep. Um, hold on, where is the new? It'd be, it'd be, it'd it'd be on the video? top of your top oh, of your window. Stop. Is there stop video? Should I stop video or there's another? Uh, no, no, no. Um, uh, let me see here. Uh, okay, so so go ahead and. You, I should have taken the screen from you. So go ahead and, sh and share your screen in Zoom with the green button. But before you complete it, you know where it yep. says it, it has all your windows there? Yep, absolutely. Okay, mm -hmm. on, the, on the bottom left-hand corner of that screen, there's a checkbox. Ah, I see. Fantastic. Oh, that is yeah. very, okay. I just share computer sound. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. That. just do the computer sound one and then select your window to share and okay. then your, your sound will be transmitted okay let's do that let's try that all right quantum physics is a very yes. strange theory Perfect. and it describes how atoms actually work now in quantum physics there's the most amazing predictions one of them an atom can be at two different places at the same time. Einstein was baffled by this theory and he called it spooky. But now we understand this theory very well and we're able to harness it to create new technologies. The Sussex Center for Quantum Technologies consists of seven world-leading research groups whose aim it is to translate the mysteries of quantum physics into real-world technologies, such as super-fast computers or quantum simulation engines that could change all our lives by creating new materials, creating new medicines, or even understanding the universe. We're building real-world devices, and we do that by working together with industry and leading UK universities as part of the UK National Quantum Technology Program. We're part of two quantum technology hubs, the one for quantum information processing and the one for sensors and metrology. A key aim of the center is to train the next generation of quantum engineers and we have a very generous scholarship program to attract the very best graduate students here. I chose to do the MSc at Quantum Technologies here at Sussex because it offered a taught scheme and also incorporated research. It gives you such a broad understanding. It's really exciting to work in a research lab which is at the cutting edge of physics. We're lucky to have many amazing and sort of world-leading uh, technologies and facilities. We have really, really powerful lasers that we use to do our experiments. We have access to some of the best scanning electron microscopes in the world. And we also have our own chip production facilities, which we use to make microchips that we can then do experiments with. We have four world-leading experimental research groups at the Sussex Centre for Quantum Technologies. Jose Verdu's group is developing means to trap individual electrons and using that he's developing a new generation of microwave detectors and mass spectrometers. Now this will have impact in many fields such as chemistry and national security. Alessia Pascasi and Marco Picanti's group developed photonic microchips to bring the precision of atomic quantum clocks into portable devices. Matthias Keller's research group develops interfaces to transfer the quantum state of an atom to that of a photon in order to create the quantum internet. He's also developing a new generation of powerful atomic clocks. My research group, the Iron Quantum Technology Group, works on the construction of a super-fast quantum computer. We are building a quantum simulation engine and we are developing a new generation of quantum sensors that will be able to detect magnetic fields with unprecedented accuracy. We also develop the theory that underpins quantum technology. Barry Garraway's group studies trapping and manipulating cold atoms in rings and designing atom chips for rotation sensing. My group develops real-world applications of quantum theory for sensing and navigation devices. The staff here are really nice, they're really friendly. They have an open door policy where you can go in and talk about any kinds of issue. I mean, that can be a random bit of physics that you thought of and you just wanted to explore and wanted to get an idea of. I mean, if you're looking for a centre of excellence in research, Sussex is definitely the place to be. One of the best things about studying the university is that you've got the seaside, you've got the beautiful downs right next door and you also have the amazing city. There's so many fun pubs and clubs, so much going on. It's an amazing place to live.
Good. So I, th I thought I'd share this because it maybe gives a little bit of a view into the labs and, and it does show we have beaches, we can even surf every so often when the wind is really, the weather is actually really terrible. Um, um, so so it, Brighton is a lovely place to live and, and, and maybe I should mention this even for, <clears throat> there's probably more important things to think about when choosing a master's, but, 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 but certainly it's a, it's a fantastic um, lovely place, and it's around 15 minutes uh, by by train to London, so you 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 will get connected as well. So so I think I've probably used used up most of my time. Um, so very happy to to have any any questions. Thank you, Winfried. I think uh, I think winter time would be a great time to do some work in the lab. So you're pretty much covered. You know. <laughs> any questions or comments from anyone? out there. Clearly an example. <laughs> Both of these examples are of clearly world class, no doubt about that. How many, uh, I'm sorry, uh, did, did you mention how many people, how many students you have in the program at this point, roughly? So it's 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 around 10, 10 students every year. So so we have a physics master's degree as well, and, and we have uh, various other streams which sometimes work together. But it's around five to ten. So it's it's a very small uh, cohort, and I think that's very helpful because it, it allows you to really like uh, have a bit closer co to co connection to the to the, the research groups, and, and we have an open door policy. So it's a very kind of uh, family-like environment um, in, in, in many, many ways, and I've, I think that's maybe part of the, the, the big benefit coming coming to Sussex, that you, you're really uh, very nice in integrated into the center and into the department. Yeah, you're just not, not just a number or something like that sitting in a classroom, a lot of direct attention and really get your hands dirty. That's all. Okay, I'm yeah, yeah. I'm gonna to have to come visit you one of these days after COVID, oh, you, especially since I got a two for one special. You're only 200, or what is it, uh, 250 kilometers apart, or something like that. So, absolutely, you know, please, please do come and visit us. So. Okay, well, we got a quiet group here today. To be honest, All I right. mean, this is a little bit hard to straight after this this um, uh, presentation ask something, but but. As I said, like I'm very open to to um, receiving questions, and Emily, in particular, she can route um, all the the questions to relevant faculty or, or relevant people. So, so please uh, just get in touch uh, at any time. Um, Emily is a fantastic first point of contact, and and so please email her all her email, uh, all the uh, contact details on on the center website, and and so just get in touch, and, and we we'll, we can help with any detailed question, whether it's admissions or whether it's um, scholarships, whatever, not like this. We can plenty of information available. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, definitely the second step. First step is is collect some information from the website. Second step is make contact with someone and have a conversation. So that's what we're trying to facilitate that right here. So, okay, Winfried, thank you very much. We've got a quiet group. I appreciate <laughs> it. Uh, as do all the future viewers and i hope we get a couple at least uh, a couple students coming your way uh, and uh, look forward to them graduating from your program over time but thanks for making i, I really wasn't myself quite as familiar with uh, sussex as i should be um, but you got a lot of research going on there so uh, i have a homework assignment now thank you, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay thank you, very much. thank you for all, all right. the ideas thanks all have right, a good thanks. afternoon Thank you. Great. Feel free to drop off if you like. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye.